Hi, this is Chris Newby. I'm the author of Bitten, The Secret History of Lyme Disease, and the senior producer of Under Our Skin, the documentary on Lyme disease. First of all, thank you, Rebecca, for sponsoring the Green Envelope Project. It's just so important this year for the patients and physicians to get the word about out about um, the size of the Lyme disease problem and to get good information on rapid diagnostic, diagnostics and treatment. Um, first of all, uh, my journey into Lyme disease started in 2002 when my husband and I and our family took a vacation on Martha's Vineyard and we came back with Lyme disease and babesiosis um, due to a tick bite we never saw. It took us 10 years, I mean, it took a year, 10 doctors and $60,000 to get better. And it was also preventable if there had been a rapid diagnostic test. Um, I guess my message to new Lyme patients is you can get better. And the fastest path to wellness is to find an experienced tick-borne disease doctor who really knows the most effective treatment protocols and knows how to um, sort through all the symptoms to determine what co-infections you have and the best treatments to get rid of those microbes. To researchers, I would recommend that you read Bitten because there is information you will never hear in the medical textbooks about the history of the US Cold War bioweapons program and how our military dropped infected ticks on Cuba and released aggressive man-biting Lone Star ticks in Virginia on the Atlantic Bird Flyway, such that this disease-carrying non-native tick is taking, o taking over uh, uh, for the native ticks um, all up and down the, e the East Coast, up to Canada, and um, making people very sick. So um, this information will help you with your research, and mostly the message to physicians and patients is just if you're not getting well with the regular Lyme protocols, consider that co-infections may be complicating your course of treatment. Um, and then finally to the government, I just say that we desperately need rapid diagnostics tests for tick-borne diseases. It's unacceptable that the only tests we have that are readily available to patients don't work in the first month. And by that time, patients can be on their road to chronic illness. Uh, so we need more research dollars and we also need the government to release the records on what experiments they did with ticks and tick-borne diseases. So we really know regionally um, how to treat patients and diagnose what's really wrong with them. So anyways, uh, thank you, Rebecca, for giving me the chance to talk. And um, I uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions about the things in my book. So thanks very much.